What's up guys? Alright, I got this uh, coyote stretched out on a piece of plywood. Got it all skinned out. Did most of the fleshing. Tacked it out. I've got 20 mule team borax on here. Uh, it's, I did this yesterday, so it's getting pretty dry. And what I'm going to do now, it's pretty hard to flesh these things out all the way. So there's always a residual layer of a little bit of tissue and fat. And I'm just going to kind of go over it with this little Camillus uh, neck knife that I picked up at Walmart today. And just kind of uh, scrape it and take off as much of this uh, dried tissue on the underside of the hide here. And I'll just uh, show you guys what I'm doing. So right here, you can see this dry spot, a big layer already peeled up and it just peels off like sheets of a paper kind of. And at this point, you don't really need to cut like this. You just scrape side to side. And the reason I have this finger condom on is when I was putting this wrap on this knife earlier, it cut me, so. Keep, gotta deal with that. It was difficult to get this stuff off. It's like thin layer of muscle. Because if you go too deep, it would, it would try to start to cut the hide. So rather than putting more holes in the hide, which I really haven't done actually, other than the one small one around the edge, um, I'm just going to just leave it, let it dry a little. Because when it's real fatty and fresh, oily, it's hard to get a hold of it and it it's not dried enough to pull off there. So once you dry it out a little, come back the next day. You can keep working it and you'll get the rest of it. Okay, so there's the... Uh, Injury, I guess. I, I just sewed it up right there. So there is some thread there. But at this point, it's pretty much har hardened. So even if you cut the threads, it should stay. And there's kind of striations like this where I just cut with the tip of the knife to get a little of the tissue up. So, yeah, it's, boy, that's difficult. You just keep going over it. Actually, I, had, I did put a few holes in here, come to think of it. So there's one there and one there. Tiny holes, but you don't want to scrape over them too hard with the knife. And this is just going to be a dried skin. It's not going to be like a wet tan where, or a brain tan or anything like that. It's just going to be dried and flat and on display. I'm not going to worry about tanning it. So that's, you can see those pieces come up like thin layers of, of uh, paper. Keep working that back and forth. See in here, I can already feel that that's, that's moist still. See how you pull that up? Get a piece like that. And then once you get that up, It'll reveal the underlayer, which still isn't dry. And then when you put more salt or borax on there, yeah, see that's that's wet and oily. Then it'll re-dry. Just keep drying deeper and deeper.
Here's a good piece. Kind of like peeling a sunburn a little bit. And you got to be careful around the edges. The edges will have a lot of fat that you, that's hard to get because it's on the edge of the skin. But you got when you're using your knife, you got to be careful around there because the knife will hit the nails and it's going to dull. So I'm well, it's still sharp. I'm going to do kind of the middle, and then towards the end of it, I'll I'll work back and hit up the edges. It helps if you can, when you skin it, when you're taking the skin off the carcass, to get as much of this tissue off then, because it's going to save you having to do that work in the end. But you also, when you're skinning it, you kind of you don't want to <laughs> be there forever skinning it. You just want to get it off the animal and get that part done with. So it's kind of, and and you also don't want to risk puncturing the hide. So it's kind of that happy medium of, of being quick and careful versus saving yourself work in the end. See those pieces coming off like that. It's good to get that stuff off there. I know it's pretty thick right here. As long as you're not drawing the knife against the blade long ways once it's halfway dried you don't have to worry too much about slicing holes but man when this thing's wet that knife it'll just you'll have fat and or muscle tissue on there that just will not come off and you'll be trying to cut with it and as soon as you get into it It'll cut right in, it'll cut right through the muscle and right through the fur, just like nothing. And you'll have no warning, you'll have a hole right in your hide. So you gotta be careful with that. There's a good chunk right there. Just keep working it. Really, I just use pocket knives and small knives. That's why I got this little Camillus neck knife. Because a big knife, it can be a little bit unwieldy. And before you know it, you'll be chopped, cutting through the hide. So, get a small knife and just take your time. See, that's actually muscle right there. Oh, there's a good piece. You want it all the way to the end. And even if you're not peeling up those 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 layers, you're gonna get this, which is just the, the moisture and the fat collecting. So that's gonna work in and of itself. But you also want those layers too, because that's just gonna pull everything up. Definitely in the neck here, there's a lot of fat tissue. So I'm not going to make you sit here and watch the whole thing, but I just wanted to kind of show you this stage of the process. Once you have the hide stretched, fleshed, and partially dried, and the battle's not over then. You still got to keep going and try to get as much of this flesh and fat off as possible because that's going to preserve the hide in the end. You don't. You, it can grow bacteria and things, 
and it can warp if you don't get all this stuff off. So it kind of behooves you to work it as thin as possible and just make sure you can get whatever you can off of it. Now I'll probably do this. I'll give it a real good once over today and maybe tomorrow and then I'll recover it with borax and then maybe tomorrow I'll do it again just to see if I've missed any spots. Oh there's a good piece. Look at that. And um, and then just let it dry for quite a while. I, I would say, I mean it's winter now, so, or fall. Another good piece. You want to give it a good while. Just the longer you keep it on, the drier it's going to be, the flatter it's going to be. So I'll probably keep this thing on for 10 days maybe just to really make sure that it gets dried and it's stretched and it's not going to warp on me so we'll uh i was using the wrong edge <laughs> that's got a it's got kind of a flat spine so that kind of works pretty good using the, the other edge um, Yeah, it's still there's still a lot of moisture in it. Despite being pretty hard and rigid, it's still pretty moist. But if you took the tacks off, it would stay in this position pretty much, although it would start to warp over time. All right, guys, that's gonna be it on this one. Um, I will follow up and show you the the hide once it's completely dried and on display and everything, so you can see what the end product looks like. Other than that, uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.